San Diego 6 News in the Morning. Let's talk to a senior staff scientist, uh, Dr. Pam Maher from uh, the Salk Institute this morning about this new study that we were mentioning earlier today. Apparently, strawberries really pack an incredible punch. You just finished a study that says this could be a miracle in a lot of people's lives. Well, we, we started um, working on the, a compound in strawberries that is called fisetin about 10 years ago. And initially, we were looking at effects on the, the nervous system, whether it could be effective in um, preventing uh, damage to nerve cells. And out of that, we, we published a study about a year ago showing that it was effective in a, an animal model of, of Huntington's disease. And in this study, um, mice that, that got our compound fisetin orally, so they were fed the, the compound, um, were slower to develop motor complications, and they, they lived longer. But based on that study, as well as other experiments we've been doing in the lab, we thought that it also might be effective against uh, complications of diabetes. Yeah. And um, so we decided to test it in a, a mouse model of childhood onset or, or type 1 diabetes. And what we found was, although it didn't prevent the increase in blood glucose that's, that's characteristic of right. diabetes, what it did do is dr dramatically reduce some of the complications. And those are what are um, caused the, the increased illness and death in people with, with diabetes, such as kidney disease. And, so it would help people problems. with diabetes manage their diabetes. Well, sort of manage. Right, mitigate the effects of mitigate diabetes. Mitigate the effects of diabetes. Okay. How many strawberries are we talking? Like if somebody wanted to see this make a difference in their own life. Well, we don't. We, we estimated that it would be about 37 strawberries would be equivalent to the dose that we were feeding the mice. So 37 every a, day. A day. But we're not, we don't actually know. We were feeding the mice the pure compound. So we're right. not sure how available the, um, the, the, the compound in strawberries is. Actually, in raw strawberries. In raw, raw strawberries. Be, strawberries. Yeah, because you yeah. refined the yes. this well, well, we, compound that yes. you were looking at yes. down to a very pure form. Yes. Okay, so, but certainly it's not going to hurt people to no, eat a load of strawberries and have a strawberry smoothie. No, it wouldn't, it wouldn't hurt them. And there are other compounds in strawberries that, all, that also might What about good. other fruits that contain this? Well, in strawberries, um, in a study, not that we did, that was published several years ago, they found that strawberries had by far the highest quantity. But it's also found in, in apples and, and persimmons and at lower levels in um, grapes and kiwi fruit, but quite a bit lower levels. Now, this, I don't want this to go in one ear and out the other for people, because there's something that you even coined in your study here, I think, called flavonoid fatigue, where oh, people yeah. have been hearing so much about these compounds that are in fruits and vegetables and, and so forth. They're, they're thinking, well, I guess just eating any kind of fresh fruit or anything is good for you. But these things, you're finding they tend to work together, don't they? They can work together, and there are specific, not every one is identical. So there are there. It's true that people have had studies with with blueberries and and with um, grapes or red wine right. that are, are different compounds. But we found that that our comp the compound we identified in strawberries, fisetin, has some properties that are are distinct from those other compounds. And in particular, they have um, it has some activities that might be especially beneficial in the context of diabetes. So what's the next step for you and for the study and for looking further into this? What's the Well, hope? one of the next steps is, um, we, as I mentioned, we tested this in a model of type 1 diabetes, mm -hmm. which is the, the childhood onset. But really, type 2 diabetes is the major problem. There's something like 23 million people now in the United States that have been diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. And the numbers are increasing. And as you probably know, people are getting type 2 diabetes at a much younger age. And so the, one of the next steps is to, there are mouse models of type 2 diabetes, and so it's to, to have tested it in one of those models to see as, if it's as effective in a, a, a model of type 2 diabetes. And then a next step is to try and, and take this further towards the clinic. Um, as we think that it re this really could be an effective treatment for um, a number of the complications of diabetes. And how simple. <laughs> And strawberries. Uh, simple, or as a, as a, perhaps as a drug. And we're also interested in its um, combining it with some other uh, compounds sure. um, that might, uh, we have some evidence um, from other studies that in combination with uh, another natural product, it might be, uh, it might be more effective. And but the bottom line for most people is, though, they want to know how long. I know, I know this is, it takes a tremendous amount of patience and a long time to work these things out in the lab. But Folks want to know how soon might we get some benefits in the real world? It's hard to say. Sure. Um, natural products are sometimes easier to 
uh, get into clinical trials because they're considered somewhat safer than something that's that's been totally created in, in a lab. Um, but to 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 actually test this in people uh, it needs some financial backing, I yeah. guess. And and so to get that would, would may take some time. But if we we got that backing, it, it could go pretty fast into at least a, a simple clinical trial. Right. Let's that, hope it comes through. Dr. Pamela yeah. Maher? Maher. Maher. Thank yeah. you so much for being Senior here. Senior Staff Scientist, Salk Institute. Okay. Thank yeah. you so much for yeah. coming in. Thank Appreciate you. it. Good stuff. All right. For more information, you go to San Diego6.com. You click on Hot Topics. And let's get over to Renee. You know, I, you just kind of tend to take it for granted here in San Diego with places like the Salk Institute. Mm -hmm. there, there are discoveries like this going on every day. Yeah. And they're being watched around the world. And it's happening right in our own backyard. They're amazing. And now I have breakfast. Strawberries. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. No, she has to take those with her, oh. she said. Part of the research. Right. She I slapped it. a bar. Yeah, oh, we got nice weather today.